So the mural behind us has a lot of different components. The context is positive. It's regional. All the birds, all the flowers, butterflies are all from the Hudson Valley. The confluence of all of these different kind of joyous collages, if you will, um, is to elicit a sense of joy or to provide a welcoming or hospitable feeling. Because services are being provided inside of this building to innumerable different people throughout the region. And we arrived at that conceptual crossroads by conducting a survey. And we created kind of a inverse hierarchy where the people served, their input was first, you know? Their input was kind of the most important element that we were gonna consider. They talked a lot about freedom that was accessed by receiving support services here. And so when we moved to consider subject matter for the mural, it was really about those things. It was about support, it was about uplifting, it was about that, that freedom that comes from having access to what you need. The hands come in as this, this element of support, the birds come in as an element that represents freedom, that represents a spectrum of abilities and strengths. About four years ago, we had about 10,000 square feet of open space and we were trying to figure out what we wanted to do with it. And we thought, why don't we create an art center? Because we knew that people with developmental disabilities tend to gravitate towards art. So the Cornell Creative Arts Center, it's a community arts center. We do all different types of artwork, dance and movement, and yoga. Everything in our art center is accessible. So if you have a disability, we are here and we have everything we can. And Arkman Hudson supports 1,600 people with developmental disabilities, uh, both physical and intellectual. And we have people that we support that are really creative, but never had a place that they can go and express their creativity. We want to open the doors to inclusion and to the community. John and I joke around. We wanted to throw a block party. So when O Positive approached us with this mural, and said, we want to celebrate it. We were 100% on board. We're like, you read our minds. We're just so pleased that they came and brought their artists. And um, we're here today celebrating the work that they're doing. And uh, we have uh, vendors, and we have music, and we have food. And it's just a wonderful, wonderful time. Having introduced So Positive to some of my friends, and having those friends introduce them to other friends, the network grows, and the impact is pretty significant and is ultimately very diverse. Kingston has one of the more socially justice-oriented programs in the country besides maybe Philadelphia at Mural Arts, but there really aren't many, and it is quite unparalleled. There's a mission behind what we do, um, and that it's about wellness generally uh, for the community and about wellness for individual artists as well. It's part of why we did the block party, was just to bring folks out around art and music and, and remind them how good it is for everyone and um, how it can bring us together. Oh, positive or like, you guys gave us a huge canvas and let's just represent the people you support with intellectual development disabilities. Let's re represent the community. Uh, we did the survey and it's just wow. I'm amazed of the job they're doing and the quality. So we're, su we're super excited. Enjoy.